The team returns to the mouth of the Serena River, where it all began. Once again, Craig is fishing for a bull shark. He wants to try out the croc chemicals to see how it reacts. He may be on the verge of discovering a new generation of bull shark repellents based on crocodile scent. Fisher! It's a bull shark, guys! We got a bull shark on the line! Yes! Woo! All right, Andy. We're gonna bring the shark over here. Okay. Keep an eye out for crocs, man. They're right on this river bank, and it's no joke. So we have to be really concerned with our safety now, too. There is a monster crocodile right here in this channel, and I don't want to be holding on to the crocodile's prey. It's another young bull shark, perfect for the experiment. This shark is in great health right now. Yeah, look at this little guy. <laughs> this is an absolutely beautiful shark. It has that characteristic blunt snout. As soon as you see that, you know it's a bull shark. When he gets the pheromones out, Craig wants to be sure that the shark is reacting to the chemicals and isn't just angry at being handled. He calms the shark with something called tonic immobility. I just flipped this shark over, and I essentially flipped its senses around in regards to its environment, and that's why we think they go into this coma-like state. Turned upside down, sharks enter a state of temporary paralysis. All right, Andy, so we got this shark in tonic immobility. Now, scientists can use this as a tool to conduct surgeries, and the sharks won't wake up. So if we present these chemicals and we get even the slightest reaction, it's telling me that these sharks are detecting and not liking those chemicals being emitted from those crocodiles. Now, we put dye in this so we can see exactly where the chemical's going. We want to make sure it's going into the nose of the shark. The dye is odorless. OK, ready? Here we go. Right in the nares. This is the moment of truth for Craig's theory. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa, what a response, Andy. Whoa. Dude, it does not seem to like that. That was a pretty definitive response. We got a reaction. This is a really good sign. This is telling me that these sharks are detecting these chemicals and maybe utilizing them to avoid these crocodiles. All right, so this shark's ready to go. Yeah, beautiful. Oh my god, that's perfect. 